Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I was just about to turn that one over, it was already turned over. Um, Six of Cups there, Memories of Love. Um, so yeah, where was I? I'll leave my contact details in the description box for personal readings and my other services. Okay, hope, reverse. So this feels like somebody feels there's no hope to return to somebody here. Um, it could be somebody you felt was the one, the soulmate. Um, but you're kind of losing hope or somebody's losing hope in this situation. I feel like this person wants to return to you but has no hope or holds out no hope of you accepting them back. Uh, they kind of feel like they messed up. <laughs> Maybe they did um, if you're not together here. But they are now going over the memories of things that happened between you, um, reliving them, like feeling what they felt in those moments um but they also remember how it ended <clears throat> your fault their fault it doesn't really matter it's just like this person um wants to return to your life mercury is retrograde it annoys me when it is <laughs> but um yeah it messes up technology everything like that sagittarius i feel like you have been through um, the breakdown, the wanting them back, the getting over it, the healing, the moving forward here. Um, that's all represented here in this destiny card for me. And I just feel like maybe you're moving on from this person, but they are just sort of getting onto that wheel of destiny. So they're going through, I want you back, right? So when this wheel turns and they start to feel what you once felt, I wonder what they'll do. Nine of Pentacles. So they'll heal themselves. They'll grow themselves here. Um, which is a wonderful thing um, for what somebody will do. Whether you end up together or not is irrelevant of the fact that somebody growing and uh, looking inwards for the answers. Because the nine is related to the hermit. So them looking to do that inner growth is beautiful. Uh, especially if they feel like that will help returning to you or you're destined to be together. Um, I feel like this will really help you guys. So let's see, you know, like I said, whether you'll be together or not, this will really help the journey. Yeah, that inner work is being done. They're now traveling through the dark night of the soul. Um, for some people view this like, oh, they're getting their karma, they're missing me and things like that. Um, if you've really grown and, you know, been through this process and ascended we don't want to stunt on our ex there's this big you know stunt on your ex thing going on and i just i i don't feel like it just imagine when you was going through that uh, it's not nice is it treat others how we wish to be treated and um like i said before be careful on our way up because we usually meet the same people on our way down so i i don't agree with stunting on an ex or anything like that if they want you back and they are growing I always feel like we should encourage growth, even if they didn't encourage us during our moments of growth or anything, right? <clears throat> Letting go is part of forgiveness. Forgiving and remembering and learning. Um, it's growth. It's all about, you know, changing our behaviours. Two of swords. So it's indecision holding them back from reaching out to you. Uh, some of them may have felt enough confidence to reach out to you and maybe got rejected and this has sent them into hermit mode. So there's probably a few different directions they'll take this path. Uh, some of them will not reach out and just do the inner work here um, because they feel like they don't know how you'll respond now your energy has been through this process. Um, but the divine showing them signs to do this work. Um, showing them signs that they're guided and um, they have guides too. That they're protected on this journey. We're all here to experience this journey at the end of it. So I feel like they're receiving messages from the divine. And how they have translated that message so far is that you're the one they're destined to be with. Sometimes we need to go through that. It's like um, 
I call it the carrot dangling in front of their face to make them do the work. Nine nine nine. Um, it's the police emergency number in the UK, um, but <clears throat> I feel here they're feeling that sense of emergency to reach out to you, to speak to you. They're feeling quite alone and keeping these thoughts, feelings, concerns um, to themselves. Uh, it's suffering in silence, it's suffering on your own, having sleepless nights. They're having anxiety attacks here. Um, cross watchers, if this is you having anxiety attacks, I feel like the person um, is willing to accept you if you've done the work and if you're doing the work you'll be pulled together if it's meant to be it will always be nothing that's meant for you will pass you by so um don't let this anxiety you know take over you we have uh princess of pentacles now so this is planting the seeds for the future this is what we can see them now going into the process of learning something new getting onto their spiritual path wanting better for their future and i really like that even if this is you and you know you're you've broken away from somebody and you have been through that wheel and you're starting to feel better and rebuild yourself and find yourself here it is um slowly but surely building a stronger future for yourself don't let anxiety sort of um hold you back get in your way because we know this is unfounded fears right we want to be able to get a hold of them when we overthink we end up staying still and not taking any action and it's just gonna hold you up so the best thing is here to move forward let's see here you could have um a child here that um you have to take care of and that's helped you through this process the lovers yeah, this is a very divine connection watched over by the divine, but you're not able to be together until you've both done the work. Whether This might even be somebody you haven't met yet because they could be returning from a past life here. So here I feel like this is a very strong connection and you have to prepare for it. Um, it's like a love like you've never known. So we want to... The easiest way to put it is be who you would like to meet and you'll call in that energy in the limited time that I have on YouTube. Um, I advise people, you know, if you want to be with a successful person, work on being successful. If you want to be with a healthy person, work on being healthy. You'll call in that same vibration. Hierophant here. And again, we see guides all around you. Uh, trying to direct you, give you these angel messages, maybe even angel numbers, these 999s here, um, these fives indicating changes and um, growth and learning experiences and starting new projects here with the Princess of Pentacles, going to seminars, um, learning new things, getting advice and help from um, somebody who's older than you here, maybe reaching out to them, maybe somebody reaching out to you. If you're an older uh, Sagittarius, somebody reaching out to you. Princess of Swords here. So this is somebody spying on you. Um, they're seeing the work and the growth and the changes within you. They see the new you. Um, I feel here with this sword up, they're willing to talk. They want to talk. It might be that you block them with the Princess of Pentacles energy. Um, not with no malice intent, but you just want to work on you. Um, so you remain like focused and learning here. This Princess of Swords energy and the Princess of Pentacles energy does indicate Twin Flames, um, two pages, because... This is two people who are learning and growing. And like I said about being able to learn that experience before you come together. You know, Adam and Eve was separated for 40 years before they found their way back to each other. And, and, and I feel like it's, you know, part of the process and um, you just really need to be open to giving 
uh, people a chance whether you want to be with them or not. That's forgiveness and grace, enlightenment, seeing things from another perspective. You become unstuck from the hanged man there. It may even hurt too much to uh, speak to that person or see that person or look at anything. But a lot of you have got to this point where I'm no longer stalking my ex. I'm, you know, um, I've moved past the heartache and I've moved on to the healing and the development of myself, my future self. I've soul searched and I've looked within and um, you're coming to a decision and I feel it's whether you want this person back in your life healed or if you never want them back in your life, whether they're healed or not. Because if you don't as well, the heartache will teach them the same thing to grow a very spiritual lesson. Um, and I feel like if you do want them back, the heartache, you know, the heart, I feel here it, it makes the heart grow fonder for you. You know, the heart being bruised and then healing, you know, what we do with muscles when we work out, right? Um, they get hurt, they tear and they strengthen and they grow bigger. So I feel like this person's heart for you, this love for you has grown bigger in separation. Five of Wands. So there will be small little obstacles to overcome. They always will be. Without the ups and downs, we're dead, right? What is life without the ups and downs? And I'm not speaking of any sort of abusive behaviour. I'm speaking of the ups and downs in life. We have outside problems, everyday problems, and we want somebody to face those problems with. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like this Five of Wands is probably Mars energy and it's motivating them towards you here, motivating their heart towards you. Um, they're hurt right now. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's why they're spying on you now and that's why they want you back when you've been through this growth. Deception. Somebody is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Um... Some people do, you know, protest too much, shall we say. Um, I'll often see people like, hey, I don't want my ex back. And I'm like, who are you trying to convince, me or yourself? Because you don't need to tell me. We have free will in this world. You know, you don't have to have an ex back. But some people could just be lying to themselves. If you've got that much energy behind... I don't want an ex, then there's something there. There's something that needs healed. There's something that's triggering you. And that's what healers do. I'm here to trigger you, um, or trigger a memory, trigger a person to your mind so that you can heal that situation. I'm not here to tell you this is what you must do. Um, the point of choice is that we learn and we grow from it, right? So I feel here, if you're carrying a lot of energy behind that, um, look at it. Even if you don't go back to that person, look at the energy that's, you know, so so much pent up frustration or anger behind that. I hate them still and, you know, fighting it there. Yeah, <laughs> pay attention to those red flags. What's triggering you here? Um, because you just might find that there's still some things left to heal in this situation. But you might also recognize this person. They just might be the one. And you might have, you know, been through a time where you believed and trusted that also. Hopefully for those of you who are single, um, you might be going to meet somebody soon. I feel like if this is a new person coming towards you, they are dealing with a heartbreak at the moment and something to do with their children and things like that. Um, so they're coming towards you. They are fighting their own personal battle. Um, probably when you meet them, you'll learn all about this. But right now, this person um, won't be on the scene. You know, if they meet you too early, it's like when you're talking to them, their time is taken away from you. So I don't feel like you would like that to start a relationship. Remember, guys, I leave my email in the description box for personal readings and my other services. Good luck, guys.